Hi and welcome to Car and Mechanical. Today I'm going to take you through the strip down of my Audi A3 at 1.9 TDI engine that failed due to the oil pump uh, breaking down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to strip off the different parts. The first thing to take off is going to be the vacuum pump. When I bought a new engine and swapped that over, it didn't come with the rocker cover or the cam cover. So that's already been taken off and been sealed onto the new engine when that swap was done. The whole of the strip down probably took, I don't know, an hour and a half to two hours. Um, that's after ancillaries and stuff had already been taken off and moved onto the new engine. But most of it was fairly straightforward. A few things you'll see as we go through. I had to go to a special effort to take off the cam um, and also the crank because of the cam belt wasn't on. We had to be, get a little bit inventive with a few bits and pieces. So we go the first bit off, that is the vacuum pump. This next part, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, I think it is a water sensor and also maybe a preheater. In order to get it off, it was, I think it was three or four bolts that were taken off there. And some of the existing piping that was in place needed to come off as well. It's a little bit fiddly. So the first thing is just to get that piping off. So I did all the bracketing for that. And just pull that off. It left one more bolt to be undone after that. So we just undid that bolt. Take that off. And then it's onto the cam. So because of the cam belt wasn't on, we had to do this little trick of holding it tight, I had to pull it very tight to the point of pulling the engine over on a stand, using a breaker bar, and then it undoes. However, even after the bolt was taken out, the cam itself was on very tight. So using a sand filled hammer, or sand filled rubber mallet, whichever way you want to look at it, um, hit it quite a number of times from the front, from the side, just sort of trying to loosen it off. What you can see here wasn't as hard as I actually needed to, in the end had to go at it quite a bit harder and doing it um, straight on in the middle where the bolt would have gone onto, but once you did that it comes off. I decided to take the cover off next. Where I really wanted to get to with the strip down is to look at the oil pump where the engine had failed. However, there's quite a number of bits that need to be stripped off of this. Uh, luckily, the, this just took a few minutes, a number of 10mm bolts. And just sort of keep going around and strip until it comes off. This last tensioner to come off that. So I'd already taken the cam belt off with the engine swap because of the cam belt kit had about 5,000 miles on it. It went straight onto a new engine. Okay, so I'm going to take out the head bolts. I think there's between 8 and 16. 8 seems about the right number in my head. Using the breaker bar. Some were quite tight, however, slacking them all off. And then you just see sped up, stripping them all off. With the head, you can see that the cams are quite clean there. There's no real scarring or marring on it. They all just sort of um, came out quite easily. The head is fine to go into another engine. And in fact, I did end up selling it on eBay to go into a new engine. With the rest of the engine, though, there would be some attention needed on the crank. When the oil pump failed, we ended up jump starting it with two batteries. Okay, so I'm just going to hit that with uh, the same mallet to go around this just to loosen it off. Good couple hits there. And just slack off in a minute. So, what I was saying, we used a couple of batteries to crank over the engine, and I think that this ended up uh, slipping a bearing when it did all turn over but we'll see on the oil pump in a minute that it's uh, the, the chain got stuck and that's the reason that it all failed I think that one of the links just um, seized up which meant that everything seized I think if at the time we had have um, stopped it stripped the engine and we changed the oil pump it would have been okay but now the crack is regrinding that's uh, just to show that the pistons you know they look fine there no lumps of metal in this is a special piece of metal we welded onto the crank so we can undo it. 
quite a handy tool it ended up being. So crank off, more bolts off, we get this out of the way and we can see the oil pump, a bit of prying and there we go. So you can see kind of straight away that you can see where the chain is kinked on itself. So that's where it's come off, it's broken, the uh, oil pump itself is all bent but the tensioner seems fine. We kind of expected that the tensioner had gone loose and that's why everything came off but it seemed tight enough. Quick overview just to see on top where the oil pump all links in and the pickup pipe. And I just wanted to give the chain a bit of a pull to show how solid it was. Pulled as hard as I could and it did actually come loose. There we can see the bearings, so you can see the scar scoring on there. And the fact it spun round, so if the engine wants to be reused, the crank would need regrinding. And pretty much that's the strip down done, just to show you a piston coming out. So I'd already taken the other three out, not through from one side with the mallet. And that's the piston out, and that is an engine strip down. I hope if you've enjoyed that, found it interesting. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below.